Namaste. This is DWIT News and I am Sudhin Raj Pandal. The Deerwalk Institute of Technology successfully hosted the biggest IT job fair on 4th March 2023, where over 2,000 students and 24 companies participated. This particular event was open to all the computer science students in Nepal, which bridged the gap between the IT scholars, academia, and the companies. To shine more light on this matter, Bidhi Raghubansi reports. The main objective of the job fair was to provide a platform for potential job seekers so that they could learn more about the growing IT industry. Simultaneously, the companies were also allowed to showcase their organizations and have a direct interaction with their potential future employees. On 2017, Deerwalk hosted its first ever job fair with more than 1,100 participants and 10 plus companies. Today, after three years, Deerhold presents Job Fair 2023 in association with Budget Technologies and Code Himalaya, powered by Deerwalk Training Center, had record number of companies with more than 2,300 participations from inside and outside of the valley. Let's ask about the experience from the participants themselves. Hello, Gaurav. Hello. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling pretty good. So as an organizer, you have a lot of responsibilities. So do you feel good about the way you organize the event? Yes, it's been uh, it's been very fantastic. The response that we have from the people has been a very good one. You know, the, the number of people that we've expected are the people that are arriving. It's a full packed, uh, you know, court. You know, and that, that's what we've been expecting. That's what we've been building the event to be. Uh, in the mornings, it was a bit of a hassle as like I had to run around performing stuff. but. Right now, it's all been settled and like we can all sit, uh, sit back and enjoy the event for ourselves. Thank you, thank you for organizing such a great event. Thank you so much. The creative and tech lead of DWIT College, Mr. Sagar Spresta, has decided to halt his journey in Deerwalk Institute of Technology, effective from 17th of March, 2023. He was the IT scholar in DWIT who worked as an intern from second semester and gradually got a full-time job before graduation and served for two and a half years. Dear Work family would like to wish best of luck to Mr. Sagar Swester for his future endeavors. The alumni meet of DWIT students was held on 13th February 2023. The alumni from all the bats gathered in seats, Balwatar for a dinner night. Dr. Rudra Pandey also joined the event where he talked with the alumni about the startups and the further education they can perceive. 80 students from BCA class of 2022 and BSC CSIT class of 2022 visited Sadagir Technologies, which was led by Associate Director of Undergrad Program, Mr. Niris Thakar. As per the TU curriculum, students of class of 2022 from BSC CSIT should do internship in the 8th semester. The students visited Sadagir Technology to understand the professional work environments as well as explore the internship opportunities. The forms for the application has been sent to the targeted students who are expected to fill it by 10th of March 2023, Friday. The final defense of the final year project of class of 2022 from CSIT has kicked off from 8 March 2023. As projects hold immense significance in the undergrad program of computer science, each student in Diawa College is required to complete three projects during their studies. Your work training center that has been providing different IT-related courses like QA, digital marketing, UI UX designing has launched new diploma courses. The students can now enroll in the following diploma courses including quality assurance and quality control, DevOps, mobile Android programming, US healthcare data analytics, Python programming, Java programming, .NET programming, big data analytics with MongoDB, Microsoft Office, and etc. Now, moving on to the college updates. The regular classes of the class of 2023 CSIT is commencing from 14th of March 2023, Tuesday. The final term exam for BSC CSIT class of 2022 is starting from 13th March 2023. The midterm exam for BCA and CSIT class of 2026 and CSIT class of 2024 will be conducted from 20th March 2023. DWIT Software Club is going to host a hackathon competition called Gear Hack 2023 on 5th to 7th May 2023. 
This will be a large-scale event with many participation from several colleges. This event aims to promote the innovation culture and enhance idea sharing, teamwork and creativity among the participants in the IT industry. Dear Hack will have 15 teams with 3 to 5 members each and the participants shall work in teams to develop a software project with a specific goal or theme within 36 hours of hackathon. The DWIT Sports Club hosted an Open Milli Militia competition on 23rd February 2023 with the aim to promote the eSports within the students. The event took place at DWIT College premises. The matches were played on personal devices and the top three among the five players were selected for the finals. After a highly competitive event, Rachit Ragmi from Bats of 2026, CSIT emerged as the winner of the competition. The runner-up of the competition was Samir Nepal from Bats of 2026, CSIT, who also played exceptionally well throughout the competition, but lost in a closely contested final match. The Deer Express Club conducted a debate session on 3rd March 2023 Friday. The event was hosted by Tez Agarwal, a member of Deer Express Club. The session was judged by Mr. Hitesh Karki. The debate's two topics were positive and negative impact of artificial intelligence in human civilization and tourism takes a toll on natural beauty. The four teams competed against each other in this debate session, each with three members. The winner for the topic, positive and negative impact of artificial intelligence in human civilization were Rubin Karki, Sunab Sarma, Kirti Chimaria, who spoke against the topic. Similarly, Pranjal Sivakoti, Ranjit Jarkam Magar, Finalin Pant won the competition, who spoke for the topic, tourism takes a toll on natural beauty. Now on to voices and opinions. The ruling Communist Party of Nepal objected to the Supreme Court's order to its administration to register writ petitions against Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda for claiming responsibility for 5,000 deaths during the decade-long insurgency in the country. In January 2020, Prachanda attended public events said that he was ready to bear the responsibility of 5,000 out of 17,000 deaths during an armed conflict. Prime Minister Prachanda, who is now leading an eighth party coalition government backed up by Nepali Congress and other political parties, has been in same trouble as well. The court hearing added some uncertainty and fragility on this matter. Let's ask public about their opinion on this. What is your view on Pratanda's statement and who do you think should take the further responsibility? Uh, so Pratanda's statement, so like he has said that 17,000, uh, uh, like total, uh, 5,000, uh, or we don't know what it is. So, like, statistically, right? So, like, only, right? So, if you figure it out, so, if you want to, I'm sure, you know, so then, because personally, so, they are doing so, so, all the time, after you do, you know, man, it's a common bad thing, so, Japan, it's a bad thing, so, that, so, like, uh, two data, so, like, so, banda, very, only, this, so, banda, so, it's, I don't think it's too, only, two, two level, so, banda, right? So, still, so, I'm going to, so, that, so, that, so, man, so, still, they are so afraid of my, so. So, when you like insurgents, the boy, to Zavapani, so to stability, country, because of Zavapani, like Maurist or Power Maya, you know, country could stability in a guy, Koti, Mansia, Rumari, I know, over Unia, little bonnet or two data, five thousand Maponi, Koti, Koti's children, Unia, Rum, main target when it's children, I know, and young man, I do, I know, this or eleven, the other two, 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 one, no, like Usko, Alicati. Ramra, you know, Usli Uskose, Alicari, you have no Ramu side dekai, some of the solar to my city, you want to make them put it in a or cause like what is the next question? Who do you think should take the further responsibility? Okay, like further responsibility is Hamlet saying approach on the as a person, as a kin on Usko, Alicari impeachment or just Sukia, I know. There are more than personally, it's more of like Marish, Marish's insurgency on the. And as a whole, to Marish or Rune, I think are to be blamed. Kino ani Amnesty International ani UN pati organization or leta unia like travel ban pani gari kothi hoy na. Unia or like you da civil civil you da change lai also one. You change the lai, you change lai. Pach pani country ta zaku te isha ani hoy na. Jab pani king or ko period ma like development na baaku banta hoy na. Tar kothi ne kiki ne gorsu one. Pani they have not done anything hoy na. Tio tio level ko jun gorsu one. Kuchh the commitment sare isha na. Country still degrading downwards hoy na. Economy is so like. 
बिगड़ी तापनी लाइक दे स्टील वॉन्ट टू से लाइक हमें गे हमें हमें तो कई नई रहा तर एज अ होल मैं के प्रचंड भाई लाइक एज अ होल माविस्ट लाइक बाबूराम भट्टाई और जो पज अ होल द ग्रुप इज लाइक टू बी ब्लेम्ड अभी लाइक आई थिंक वहाँ जे भू इट्स क्वाइट इट्स नट क्वाइट लाइक राइट जिस थैंक यू What is your view on Prachanda's statement, and who do you think should take the further responsibility? Uh, for me personally, I think that uh, Prachanda's behavior was kind of hilarious because he is changing his words uh, according to the events. Uh, personally, I think we're the ones who is responsible for taking the actions since uh, Prachanda has done a lot of wrong things in past, and no one has taken action according to the government. Tara, this could be a system that you know, Banda, as a citizen ourselves, uh, it's endangering our lives and others' lives too. So I think uh, we're the one responsible for taking the action. That's it for the bulletin. Stay tuned for more.